Good morning, guys. Oh my gosh, Vinny's crazy. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Rachel, if you're new. We have a fun weekend. Well, it's kind of the end of the weekend now, so it's Memorial Day. <laughs> so it's Memorial Day today, and this weekend is the Romanian convention. So basically, almost all of the Romanian youth from the East Coast of the United States comes and meets in one location every year, and this year it's in Miami. So it's really fun because everybody's here, we're hanging out. It's basically, it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today. The last three days were mainly church services in the morning and at night, and then today is a park day. So the church rented out a big park or like a space in a park and we're all gonna go hang out, play sports, grill, it's gonna be fun. So yeah, that's what I've been doing this weekend and then we went to this really cool restaurant that I wanted to mention. It's called The Yacht. Y-O-T bar and grill in Fort Lauderdale. It's like right by the airport if you're in the area It's so good. It's at a yacht club <laughs> And I just thought it was so cool that we were allowed to like go into the yacht club Like you don't have to be a member and the food was really good got some good pictures I put some self tanner on for this weekend and I just I need to do it more often because I just love the way it looks I'm just wearing like sporty outfit because it's so hot outside and we're gonna be playing sports and stuff and it's freaking hot Okay, so I used this yesterday for the first time it's the revlon hot air styler this is the only, this is the 20 dollars one not the not the one step and my review is that i like it my hair didn't come out perfectly like it would if someone professionally blow dried my hair but it came out the best that i've ever done it so i will link that down below um i think it's a great tool if you don't know what you're doing like me It's the next day and I have a fever. I woke up feeling terrible. I had body aches all of last night and this morning when I took my temperature like I normally do, it was 99.5, which is really not that high, but for me, I'm really sensitive. And so yeah, I can definitely feel it. And it makes sense because I was so tired this whole weekend. And now I know why. So I'm gonna take this um, at home COVID test just to be safe. I'm probably gonna go in, if this is negative, I'm gonna go into the office and like just tell our summer intern like what to do for the day and make sure like he doesn't have any questions and then I'll come home because I really don't feel that good. And I'm like sweating, I'm so hot. This looks kind of complicated though. <gasps> okay, so I just did it. I'm gonna let it sit for 20 minutes and then it says to read it in between 20 and 30 minutes. Okay, it's negative. Woo! So I'm gonna go. I just changed. I'm gonna go quickly and just tell our summer intern like what to do, see if it has any questions. And like the biggest thing is insurances. So I look at the patients for the day and I make sure that he knows what to collect after the visit. Um, because he's still kind of learning how to figure that out himself. So I'm just gonna go make sure everything's okay. I'll probably be there for like 30 minutes and then come back because I am so hot and I'm not looking great. I'm not looking great. I'm not looking great today. Yeah, yes sir. Okay, it's many hours later, it's like 3.30. Um, I slept for like two hours and now I'm up. I wanna do something productive because I, I just feel like I need to and I'm gonna clean my washing machine. I think I've showed this to you guys before but our washing machine gets really dirty like over here and on the sides here so like every few months i like to wash it so i just ran hot water in here i put a bunch of baking soda down there and there's just like a little bit of water and i'm gonna go in with one of these like scrub dish scrubber things i just get it wet 
kind of a hard angle, but then I just wipe it clean. And then once I wipe it down, I'm going to do a quick cycle with hot water to like get all the residue out and then it'll be all clean. Okay, I just threw my pillowcases in the wash. Vinny is here with me. I'm going to try to wash my pillowcases every two weeks and wash all of my sheets every four weeks and be like really good about it. Now that I have my Brooklyn and sheets, I really want to take good care of them. I also brushed Vinny really well with the deferminator brush and she's all clean. I sprayed her with this Burt's Bees dander spray. I do this, I haven't done it in like three months, but I used to do it every month and it just helps her be like silky smooth. Like a widow angel. Like an angel. Basically, I did all of the stuff that I was supposed to do on my Sunday reset video that never came out because I missed a video, as I'm sure you've noticed. I don't know, I've just been feeling really burnt out lately and this past Sunday, so two days ago, I was supposed to film a Sunday reset and get like a million things done like I normally do because you guys are obsessed with that kind of stuff. And I really enjoy it too, don't get me wrong. Sometimes on Sundays, I just want to chill. I just don't feel like doing all the stuff all the time. So I decided to skip a video, but then I was like depressed that I skipped the video. So I like didn't even enjoy my Sunday. I'm sure you guys can relate in your own various forms of things of your life. What am I saying? <laughs> I like my little necklace, by the way. This is from Love Tala and it matches my shirt. How cool is that? Anyways, the point of the story is that I'm feeling really in a rut creatively and I don't know I guess I just need some I don't want to say tips but like what do you guys want to see is it okay if I post chill vlogs and not like be productive all the time like because those videos do perform the best but at the same time like I just don't have it in me right now so I think once I transition into my new role at my mom's and work less hours I'll be like so much better it's just been so crazy the past like one and a half months and i'm just like on a hamster wheel yeah everything is good like i'm so grateful it's just occasionally we go through seasons of burnout and fatigue and i just need to get like my spark back okay guys i'm outside weeding my garden because why the heck not right you might as well and i need you to tell me what this is anybody knows what these little pink things are on the cactus let me know there's one that fell on the floor too. I think it's like a seed or is it like sprouting? I don't know. Let me know if you know what that is. Oh, oh, it's like open. That's disgusting. Okay, what the heck is that? Ew. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. I have a little eczema breakout on my forehead, love that. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling a little bit better. I think everything that I did yesterday really helped to kind of help me to stop overthinking and kind of get out of my little negative space. I don't think that I'm out of it completely, but I feel like significantly better. And I think it's because I was productive and I got a lot of stuff done that was kind of like on my mind, but I didn't feel like I had to do it on a specific day at a specific time for a video, which is what I was feeling on Sunday. So I don't know. It's crazy how when we're supposed to do things, we don't want to do them but then we do them when we're not supposed to do them or like when there's no pressure to do them. Anyways, let's go to work. I have an avocado and I have my toast. I'm gonna eat this probably around 9.30. That's when I usually get hungry. Oh my gosh, I ordered some figs. I'm so excited. They should be coming in sometime this week and I'm so excited to try them on and show you guys um, because I've been wearing the same pair of scrubs every day for weeks now and that's kind of gross. So stay tuned. 
Okay, I'm home from work. It is 7 o'clock. I got home at 6.30 today because we had two interviews after work, which were actually pretty good. So I'm pretty positive and I'm excited. Um, one of them was for reception and one of them was for MA, which is medical assistant. Vinny's on the couch. I'm about to make dinner. We just got in HelloFresh shipment, which is actually perfect timing. They always come at the perfect time. And I am working with... <laughs> This chair makes so much noise and I am working with them in today's video. So literally what is more perfect? Nothing. Can't think of anything. If you don't know what HelloFresh is by now, you're living under a rock. Basically, they send you pre-portioned ingredients directly to your front door along with recipe cards to make delicious recipes. And they're so easy. All you have to do is follow the instructions on the back. On days like tonight, when I get home late, the last thing I wanna do is a meal plan or go to the grocery store, pick something up, or like try to come up with the recipe. And that's where HelloFresh comes in handy. HelloFresh delivers quality produce from the farm to your front door in less than a week. so you Know you're getting the freshest ingredients every single meal is so delicious and they're honestly so easy to make especially if you're like me and you don't particularly enjoy cooking hellofresh is up to 72 percent cheaper than dining at a restaurant or grocery shopping and they offer veggie pescatarian and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals hellofresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaging is recyclable they have seasonal summer recipes like cucumber salad stuffed pita pockets chicken sausage stuffed peppers, Tuscan spiced shrimp, and so much more. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code RACHELVIN16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Once again, that's HelloFresh.com. Use code RACHELVIN16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Vinny, why are you sitting like that? Huh? Vinny? Why are you sitting like that? Hmm? Good morning, happy Thursday. Last night, when I was watching TV, Vinny freaking smacked me in the face. I will insert a clip, but she, I was like leaning my head back on the couch like I always do, and she came up behind me and just went pa pa pa. I was so mad at her. I was so mad. Like for what reason did she do that? She's never done that before. Anyways, happy Thursday. I don't start work till 10 today, so I'm going to edit a video, do some emails. I also need to pick my HelloFresh meals because I go in about once a month on the HelloFresh website and I pick all my meals for the next month because you can choose your meals if you didn't know that. If you don't choose them, they will default them to like three that they think that you might like, which are usually exactly what I would choose, but I just like to make sure that all my selections are in. Okay, it's been a little bit and you want to know how I know I'm feeling better is because I just filled out my Google Calendar. This is my Google Calendar and when it's empty, I know that I'm not in a good place. So like the past two months, okay, maybe just the past month in May, I've just been kind of like unmotivated. So this is really empty, but I'm starting to fill it out for June, like the more details, my podcast, when I'm recording, and I can just tell that this makes such a big difference. Hello, why is it so dark? <laughs> Look how good this looks. I'm so excited to eat this. Alrighty, it's almost 10, so I'm going to work. Um, today we're working 10 to 7. I straightened my hair because what else am I supposed to do? Um, did I tell you the order to fix? I did tell you. I need to track them because they should be here by now. Just saying. Are you gonna apologize for yesterday? Huh? Are you gonna apologize? Or no? It's okay, I forgive you. <laughs> So at 6.30, I was like, are we ordering food? Because I'm going to be home late. I'm not cooking. And he was like, yeah, we're ordering food. So I told him what I wanted, and then he ordered it, and then it's just my order. Like, he didn't order himself anything, which he always does. Don't understand. 
but I'm happy because I got chicken parm. I usually don't finish it anyway, so he has like a good amount of my food that he can eat anyway. But how good does this look? It's so much chicken, like this whole thing is chicken. And then it comes with a salad and garlic rolls. Are you doing calculations? Anna just came and dropped off this calculator for AJ because he's taking a math class and he's only gonna need it for like two weeks so we didn't wanna buy one because those things are expensive. Good morning guys, happy Friday. <laughs> what? This company, Natural Pilates, sent me a bunch of stuff and I'm so excited because am I a Pilates girl? No. Have I only done Pilates once in my life? Yes, but that's not gonna stop me from doing it. You know what I mean? So they sent a bunch of these bands in different like strengths, I guess, or like tensions. And I think these are for stretching. So we have four of those. And then they sent three of these thicker bands. These are basically resistance bands that you put on your legs and you do like this type of thing, or you do this type of thing, or you do this type of thing. I just thought that was so fun. Oh, and they also sent this ball. I don't think I'm gonna blow this up yet because I don't really have time to do Pilates, let alone like anything else. But I will keep it because I can envision a world where I work less hours, I do Pilates in the morning, like I can see it, I can see the vision. So I'm really excited to have this stuff. Thank you to Natural Pilates. And I think they have like an online course or like an online membership where you can do like at home workouts and you follow along. I haven't looked into that, but Watch me be a Pilates girl. Okay, it's really cloudy outside, but I wanna show you my breakfast to come into the light. Okay, I've been crushing the breakfast game lately. Let me just say that, okay, first and foremost, uh, we can all agree. So I have avocado toast and then I have cream cheese with crushed blackberries. Like how freaking good does this look, you guys? I'm just saying. Also, somebody took our trash can. So we don't have a trash can like the big ones. We only have a recycling bin and I'm wondering if somebody stole it or if the city confiscated it for whatever reason. But I need to call the city and be like, yo, uh, did you guys take my trash can? Because they normally make you pay for replacements. Like if something happens to it, you have to pay for a new one. But I'm like, it's not my fault. Like you guys took it. Why would anyone like steal a trash can? You know what I mean? Here I am waiting for the pergola to dry out so I can stain it. And then here it is raining every day. <laughs> Also, one of you guys made a good point about this sound. So we want to put metal on top of this to protect from the rain, like something like that, even though that's just the shutter or something like that's on the shed, like a, a thinner straight piece of metal. And one of you guys were saying that isn't it going to be loud when it rains and it hits the metal, especially since it's connected to the house in a way. But here's my theory. Okay, we have the metal on this thing and on the shed and we don't hear it when it rains. Like there's no sound so i'm thinking that it's going to be the same case with the pergola because yes it's attached to the house but it's just like connected via a piece of wood so it's not like actually going to vibrate the house if that makes sense and the house is made of cement uh, blocks it's the house is not made of wood because you can't do that in florida because of the hurricanes there's your history lesson that's my theory so like i don't think that it's going to be loud because example number one example number two and even if it was loud, I really don't mind the sound of rain because this roof here is an attachment. So this is like a flat roof. You see how that roof, that person's roof is flat over there, but this person's roof is peaked. We have that kind of roof when it comes to the master section because this was an addition. So inside the regular house is peaked, but out here it's flat. My point in saying that is that flat roofs are loud anyway. So when we're in the master bedroom and it's raining, we can hear the rain much, much louder than we can hear it in the main house. Yeah, I don't know why I'm explaining that in so much detail, but look at her. She's trying to ruin my rug. She does that every day. But luckily this rug doesn't like pill. I got this rug from Eastdale Rugs. It was like 200 bucks. I can see if I can find the link for it, um, but it's such a good rug. Okay, it's many hours later. I'm home from work. I'm so tired, but shh. Can you hear that? That's the rain. And I don't think it's that loud. It's not that loud. Anyways, uh, there's a tropical storm. I had no idea, like nobody at work knew either. I feel like my hair grows so fast. Not to brag, but 
I'm still using my Roderm prescription. This is just tretinoin 0.06 and niacinamide. I really like the texture of this. Some of the tretinoins can be like not a great texture and it's like not pleasant to put on your face, but this one's like really smooth and silky. We love that. Yes, yes, yes we do. Do you guys follow that girl? <laughs> She's so funny. Oh my gosh, guys, today at work we did a Morpheus, which if you don't know what that is, it's a micro needling with radio frequency, and it's the coolest thing ever. It's different from a regular micro needling because it delivers radio frequency through the needles. It's very like high tech, and I was able to practice doing it on a patient today, and it's so cool to be like learning how to do these things. I don't really believe in the gua sha thing, but it does feel good, so I can understand why people do it. Like this feels so good right now. <laughs> and I might actually do a Morpheus on myself. Like I wouldn't do it to myself, but I might get it done. I'm gonna get really close to the camera. Okay, don't, but don't judge. You see this red, redness everywhere. This is from old acne and I have some acne scars here. Like right here I have acne scars. The Morpheus helps with that because it actually tightens the skin. It simulates collagen production. So it actually like lifts up the skin. It's, it's the coolest thing ever. It's the coolest thing ever. There I said it. I also picked up another mouthwash. This is from the TikTok dentist that I referenced way back when. Some of you guys were asking me. So this is the brand. It's Clossus or Closus. Excuse me, I just burped. I'll link it down below. It's basically antibacterial mouthwash or whatever, but it doesn't taste like anything. Like it tastes like water with like a hint of mint in it. So the idea is it's more effective because you don't feel the urge to spit it out right away. I can switch this for like two minutes, no problem. It is a little bit expensive. I think this is like 10 bucks for this bottle, but you can't compromise on your, on your dental health. I was about to drink this and keep talking. Oh, I scheduled an appointment for my wisdom teeth extraction. Well, I scheduled a consult with the surgeon that AJ went to and my family goes to to get my bottom molars removed because this one has been driving me crazy. It's not that they're shifting my teeth. They're coming in straight. Okay, I got the x-rays. I don't believe in unnecessary surgery. However, they're both kind of halfway out and it's at the point where I don't know if they're going to continue to come out and that's a problem because I can feel it getting irritated and like food gets stuck in there sometimes and it's just not the vibe. So I think I'm going to get the bottom two removed. The top two are perfectly fine. They're golden. They're com almost completely out. No issues. I'm not getting them taken out unless somebody convinces me but I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to. After I get them removed or have a consult, whatever, then I'm gonna go to the holistic dentist that I referenced previously to actually get like preventative care, like recommendations like this and vitamins and things to help my teeth become stronger because I have issues with cavities and sensitivity and to teeth breaking and chipping, eating like soft mashed potatoes, so. Lastly, I just wanted to tell you about this book. I've mentioned it before, but I don't recommend it. I don't think I'm like 70 or 80% of the way through. I just can't finish it. Like it started off good, but they started introducing like characters that didn't need to be involved. It's like too many characters to keep track of, too many different points of view, and I'm just completely lost and I get so frustrated when I'm lost. If you're looking to like stimulate your brain, like figure things out, yeah, go ahead and read it, but you just want to have a good time it's not the book for you i hope you enjoyed getting out of this funk with me i truly feel like you guys helped me and i'm better i'm healed i'm well i'm 100 percent and it's thanks to you so make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye